Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? This is the one that they call Top Diggity Dog. And today, I decided, like, switching gears, doing something a little bit different for you guys. I feel like giving y'all something. So what I want to do is give y'all my HDPVR settings so y'all can get beast mode quality for your YouTube videos. Y'all ready for this? That sounds like a plan. All right, let, let me stop jamming, and let's go ahead and get into it then. So you want to come over to start and load up your total media stream and yes you, yeah yeah you do see slender on my computer by the way i mean come on i love horror but anyway that's another thing load up your total media stream click that once you click that of course what we want to do is record video footage so come down here hit that wait for it to load up come on you can do it you can do it you can do it. and there you go all right for your source of course, we're recording with the Hapog HDP VR, so you want to have that selected. Okay. And your input, you want YP, uh, BPR, uh, audio, RCA back, PC audio mode, two channel stereo. And uh, you want, even if you have an Xbox 360, you want to record an M2TS. Why? Because that's going to give you the best quality. All right. For my device settings, these are my device settings. Also, at any time, if I'm going too fast, please, it's a, it's a video. Please feel free to pause the video, stop the video, get the settings, because I want to give y'all these settings right. I want y'all to get everything y'all can to get this, this, this beast mode quality, because I'm telling you, that's what it is. All right, y'all got that? All right, cool. Let's move on. All right, format settings is next. Click that. Okay. Now, you want your bit rate all the way to the right, which would be 13.5. That's going to give you what you want for your quality. And you want it at a constant bit rate. Not a variable bit rate, but a constant bit rate. All right. I leave these boxes unchecked. And you want, you want everything at a 4-3 uh, ratio. Luma and your Chroma at 3. I think it's there by default, but I could be wrong. And for your 4-2 channel audio sources... I use AC3 audio encoder. That works. Okay, and that that kills it for a uh, total media extreme. All you have to do now is go ahead and capture gameplay and you would be good. But before you before you uh do all that, follow along with me because what I'm about to do now is hop on the PS3 and give you my settings that you need on that as well. Let's do it. All right, guys. Now that we got our PS3s fired up and ready to go, let's go ahead and get these settings. So what I want y'all to do first is scroll over here towards the left until you reach settings. Then scroll down to display settings right there. Bam! Click that. All right. Now, first things first, make sure you copy all these settings. So pause the video, stop the video, do whatever you got to do to get these settings. All right. Now that you got those, come up here, click video output settings. Make sure component D terminal is highlighted. Scroll over here. Now, make sure 720p is the only box check, not 1080i, not 1080p, and definitely not for 480p. You want just 720p highlighted. And then hit X or scroll right and make sure you save those settings. And you, my friend, are on your way to beast mode quality. Oh yeah, also, for every for all you guys out there that have problems and you might can't hear audio live while you're recording, but when you record it, you can hear it fine. Um, when you play it back, make this is what you want to do. You want to come to audio multi output and turn that on. You do not want it turned off. You want it on. That way, you'll be able to hear any audio uh, cable that's connected to your TV. You'll be able to hear it coming out of your TV or wherever you have it, your speakers, all, anything coming out. All right, guys, hope I helped you with that. Now what we're going to do is hop back on the PC, and I'm going to run you down on all my editing settings in Sony Vegas. Let's get it. All right, you're ready to go. You got your PS3 settings down. You got your total uh, media extreme settings down. So all that's left for you to do now is just record some random gameplay. Matter of fact, that's what I want you to do. I want you to record some random gameplay. It don't matter whether it's Call of Duty, uh, Street Fighter, whatever you got. Record some random gameplay and then resume this video and we'll get into the editing process.
Oh, what? You are? Oh, okay. So you already recorded some gameplay. Okay, look at you. Look at you doing your thing. All right, then. Let's go ahead and close this program. And uh, what you need to do is just load up your Sony Vegas, whatever Sony Vegas that you have. All right. All right. I already have a clip loaded up. I already have a clip loaded up being that, uh, you know, I want to cut down some type of time. Okay, so all you have to do is take a clip from your folder and just drag it simply into Sony Vegas and you'll be good to go. All right, once you got that clip dragged in, you want to always, you want to get in the habit of doing this. Right click on that clip, go to properties, disable the uh, resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Those is the, that's, that's numero uno. First thing you always want to do when you upload a clip into Sony Vegas. All right. Now, after that, you see these horrific lines. And imagine some people have horrific lines in their gameplay. I mean, I, so even worse than this, I'm talking about black line from here all the way to here to here all the way to here. I'm talking about horrible. You don't want that for your, your, your high definition beast mode quality. Now, do you? Exactly. So let's go ahead and let me teach you uh, how to get rid of those black lines. So you want to come down here to event pan and crop. Click that, click on that button, which will bring up this window right here. This is what it'll look like if I can get it. All right, it'll look like that. Let me show you what it does. All you have to do is click and hold and then drag this downward, and you will see the line disappear. You see that? And you do the same thing. I don't see the lines over here, so I don't have to worry about that side, but I see lines right here. So you do the same thing over here bring it in and then bam the lines go and another thing you always want to do you want to get in the habit of doing is making a preset because that will always cut down time in your your uh, future projects when you're editing gameplay you don't have to worry about stuff because you can just load up preset let me show you what I mean you just come here and you just title it uh, I don't know Lala do let's call it lolly do whatever and then you hit save but being that I already have a preset check this out and I go to my preset and then it snaps in place so if default it looked like that then I go to my preset BAM you know that's cutting down time for me and that's all that's what we want we always want to cut down time so let me put this over here so we got that out of the way everything's looking good on that but you, you we still have our colors our colors not looking that good you know our colors just look bland yeah it don't look great it's not popping out at you so let's go ahead and let's tend to the colors so what you want to do is come over here to track FX click that and then what I use I use uh, Sony color corrector secondary not the not the first one but secondary click that and then I use sharpen wham and my, the last one I use is saturation adjust alright and then ok it you can bring that over here alright now for my color corrector these are my settings because this is this is my actual save preset that I use alright these are my settings copy those down and you will be good to go and let me show you what that does let me highlight these so I show you one by one alright this is what the color corrector does you see how your dark gets you know it gets darker it gets more you know it gives you it gives you that HD look your darks look dark and your your lights is not kinda gray it's, it's actual like how you want it to be so these are my settings Copy those down and let me know when you're ready. Say what, huh? What? No, I'm just playing with you. You didn't say anything yet. All right. Oh, okay. You ready for sharpen now? Okay. Let's move on to sharpen. Okay. Now, this is what it does. You see how it looks? All right. See how everything is getting sharpened? All right. Now, let's see what those settings is. Hmm, 500? That's not my settings. Oh, okay. I, I did just load it in there. Okay. I usually have my sharpen at 200. So, 
make sure your sharpen is at 200. That's not overdoing it. 500, you know, it was like, oh, no, 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 not 500, 200. And then, like I said, for these right here that I'm giving you, all these settings I'm giving you, dude, I'm telling you, get in that habit what I was saying earlier. Making your presets and saving your presets. We're gonna do the same thing once we get to rendering. We're gonna get we're gonna make a uh, rendering preset and we're gonna save it. That way you don't have to keep, you know, it's cutting down time. And like I said, that is always great for any editor. All right, you got the sharpen. Okay, let's move on to saturation. Let me show you what that does. You see how the colors, you know, you got your your lightness, you know, and your darkness looking exactly like how you want it. So it's all about your color. Here go the color. Let me show you what the color does. Oh, okay, that's why I went. I was about to say, I was like, what the what? You know. So let me show you what the color does. This is my preset right here. There you go. Okay, so big difference, huh? Big difference. So these are my settings for the saturation. Copy those down, pause the video, stop the video, do whatever you got to do to get those down, and we'll progress on. All right, you got those? Cool, cool, cool. We working, we working. All right, now, before we go ahead and get into rendering, uh, the rendering property, uh, the rendering settings, I forgot to show you my project property. So come up here and select project video properties. This is big. Now copy all this right here. Copy all of this. Width 1280 by 720. Um, field order none. Progressive scan. You know, so on, so on. Copy everything. And you remember earlier in the uh, when we was on the PS3, I was telling you don't do 1080i. You know, see another good thing why you don't want to do 1080i is because when you do 1080i, you have to worry about interlacing you have to de interlace your video but w while we're recording in uh 720 we don't have to worry about that so just put that make sure that is none and like uh your gamma have that exactly where it's at right here not linear but video all right you got those all right let's move on into audio this is how you want your audio you want your master bus mode and stereo stereo um depth 24 sample um, 48,000 number of stereo uh, buses zero resample at best and uh, you're good to go now since we got all that we don't have to we don't want to worry about that no more what 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 should you do what should you do exactly you should make a template you should make a template and you know call it whatever lolly Ollie, you know, it don't matter. Call it whatever and make sure you save it. That's what you want to do. And another great thing with this is you want to click this box. Start all new projects with these settings. That way, every project that you start, it will already have these settings. You don't have to worry about it. And then you want to click apply. And then okay. Now, now that we got our settings, we got uh, everything good to go. We made sure this is uh, you know our maintain aspect ratios uncheck and this is this disable resample and the colors looking nice and uh, no black lines and uh, the project properties is just right we're good to render now we're good to render so you always want to make sure before you render this is at best and full because they give you the best quality it gives you the best interpretation of how your video is going to turn out and then you come to file and then render as once you get the render as, find this main concept AVC slash AAC right here, the MP4. This is what you want. Click on any, then after you do that, click on any one that's below that, any uh preset underneath that, and then just follow along with me. All right. All right, this is the preset that I use. This is the one that I made. So just copy all these settings down and you will be good to go. I promise. You got my word. That's a dog. You got my word. With 1280, my 720, uh, uncheck this. Make sure your profile is high. Frame rate, 
um, 30 frames pretty much that's what that is pretty you, you might as well give it that uh, allow source to adjust your frame rate field order none pixel aspect uh, aspect ratio uh, at one number of reference frames four use the deblocking filter at a constant bit rate of 14 14 14 Team because I you know I'm saying that like that because a lot of people um, that I've been looking you know because I was just like y'all I was searching for the best quality and some people tell me to come all the way up here and it's like no don't do that that's gonna mess up your computer that it's gonna be a big file it's gonna be a waste of file and plus YouTube actually compressed the file down anyway so this is where you want it you don't want it weighed up here at like 240 no you want it at 14 that's going to give you the best quality you need and like i said keep that in mind that youtube compress your file down so this is what you want all right enable progressive download have your encode mode that's automatic now let's move on to audio okay audio i think it's going to be like this by default so don't worry about that system um you can i don't have a gpu but if you have a GPU and it say, you know, uh, the name of your GPU, then you can, matter of fact, go to encode mode and instead of doing automatic like I do, you can render with your uh, GP, GPU. That way, your rendering will be faster. It'll be much faster. But if you render with your computer, you're going to be like me. You know, it's going to take, you know, depending on the length of the video, it's going to take some time. You got a 20-minute video still, you know, it's going to take some time. You got a 5-minute video, it's going to be okay. All right, now your video rendering quality. What you think? What you think? You think you wanted a draft, a preview, or good? No, but be smoke quality. You want it at best. So make sure you have it at best. And again, again, come up here, name it whatever you want, and make sure you save that template. It's cutting down time and you're gonna love me for this you're gonna love me for this in the long run all right and okay and then just start rendering <clears throat> render, render your video but since you know i'm sh i'm just showing y'all my settings i'm not gonna render it but that's all you have to do is click render and it, the process will start you know of course name it but the process will start and you will get great quality and i'm gonna show you an example of that right here right now all right guys there you go true beast mode quality i hope this video helped a lot of you guys out that had any questions of any sort but if it if you still have any questions that's cool just go ahead and put it in the comments let me know what's going on and i won't hesitate to get them answered that's what i'm here for to get your questions answered if i did help you out please give this video a like and if you if you have a video that you uh made to these settings then please post it as a video response to this video that would I want to see what y'all do. I want to see how y'all get down. All right. <laughs> All right. Until next time, it's Top Dog. It's been fun. I'm out. Deuces.